Okay, here we go. Got all my hydraulics in line or pumped up and everything. I took and slit some fuel line and laid around the inside of these holes so I don't scuff the pipe the lines up. That's feeding from the pump to the valve. That's going from the valve to the cylinder. And that's my return from the valve back to the pump. Right there, that's my float valve for now. I'll get that out of the way. Let's see if I can find a good place to set the camera. Temperature gauge did come up just a little bit. Uh, amps are still pushing pretty hard. Nothing on the fuel gauge because there's no fuel tank. <laughs> sweating tons when I'm with no driver's door on it. Uh, try to defrost her. Uh, I'm getting, getting a little bit of air up the top there. Nothing over here. But got a little bit coming out the driver's side. That'll work for now. That is not bad. The heater on these things is a little weird. If you ever get one, you notice it's not heating up. You have to pull this knob out, then turn on your heater. Because if you look, if I can show you. I was showing that in the right place. Right here, there's a big flapper inside of there and that shuts off your air for some reason. I guess if you want to shut off the outside air. If you got one of these and you're not getting heat, try oiling up that knob in the cable that goes out there and uh, see if you can free that up. It might help you. Outside lights are working. Don't have these wired up yet. I think that oil gauge ain't working. Temperature's holding nice. I never know if this was oil pressure or oil temperature. It always confused me. Well, whatever. He's running. Hydraulics are working. It's backwards though, you gotta push forward to raise it. And then uh, pull back to lower it. I wanted it to be like an airplane, but it is what it is, huh? And it's working, and there's no leaks. All brand new hose, rebuilt cylinder. You gotta be good for another 40 years worth of bashing. One more little thing I did. There's your U-joint. <laughs>